an inside look at a school lockdown. The quick response during some nervous moments at Jensen Beach High School. While today turned out to be a false alarm, WPTV News Channel 5's Kate Hussey reports tonight it was a big test for both the school district and law enforcement. Sheriff's office. A moment of tension. Anyone inside? As Martin County deputies enter a classroom in Jensen Beach High School. Announce yourself, please. Searching for what they believed at the time was the worst case scenario. An active shooter. Everyone put your hands up. Leave them up high as you can. This body camera footage showing students with their hands above their heads. Keep your hands up as high as you can. Nobody move. Good afternoon. Martin County Sheriff William Snyder says at 1037 a.m. A student entered the school without scanning his ID as protocol, leading authorities to believe an unknown person had breached campus. No visible signs of any weapons, firearms. Within two minutes, law enforcement on the scene, on foot and by air. Every single day move towards what could have been the point of danger. Right, I'm going to go downstairs. Inside the school. I was sitting there in history class. Junior Zach Zanitzer. It was just, they called down the lockdown. They said it was a drill and we all just kind of pranced over. Felt his stomach drop. And then uh, Miss Vogel came over on the big speaker and said, this is not a drill. There's someone in the school. So we all kind of freaked out. Many of those parents frantically rushing to the school to pick up their children. My daughter's right here. As deputies searched. Let's just lock this hallway down for now. Snyder says by 1059, they found the student in his classroom, unarmed, now believing it was likely a misunderstanding. Yet for Snyder and for Superintendent John Millay, it's a sign their training works. Parents are asking me all the time, are my children safe? Are your deputies trained? well enough to do this. The answer is unequivocally yes. You know everyone in this classroom. Kids were safe. It was a real positive test that our systems work. Zach is thankful for that quick response. It's one that makes him feel a little bit safer. I just liked how they, they took it into precaution. I mean, it was great. I mean, even like it, it, it was the smallest thing, but it was still great. Sheriff Snyder says the student who was briefly detained was turned back over to the district. He will not face criminal charges. The district says they will deal with him according to their code of conduct. This does come as Sheriff Snyder says the district has seen 72 threats against schools this year so far compared to just 19 last year. Reporting in Martin County, I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.